Have you seen how close the moon is with Jupiter tonight? And the moon's going right through Pallades. Look at this. So that's Jupiter right there. And the moon even has a halo on it. You guys want to see this through the telescope? Yeah? All right, let's check this out. This is the legendary Orion XT8 Dobsonian. Even through those clouds, it should look pretty cool. All right, let's check this out. It's freezing cold out here. It's like five. It's like five. Yeah, I don't know what else to say. It's like five degrees, just single digits. So I got my gloves on. So the zoom in is gonna be a little bit slow, but hope on the auto. So like we come up or down. Yeah, there's Pleiades. All right, so how do we get to Pleiades? So if we go straight up, we see a little bit of it and it's over. That's awesome. And then we also have, um, we have Jupiter right above the moon here. There it is. Right here. We have Jupiter. Hey, Jupiter. Should we uh, try to zoom in and see striations? I have the Barlow. Let's try the Barlow. Barlow is going to help with Jupiter. It was helping earlier. I did a video I posted and uh, tell you what, Barlow, yeah, it's, it's, it is the way, it is the way. On top of the eyepiece like this, definitely, definitely the way to go. So we'll make sure we're on that way. Now, when we zoom into Jupy Joop, We start to almost immediately see striations. Look at that. A little bit of focus issues. Yeah, it's right above the moon right now. I'm in the uh, East Coast. Now, this is an Orion XT8 Dobsonian manual telescope. So it's the movement you're gonna see is uh, Earth rotating. Wow, I'm really zoomed in, aren't I? Let me just let that come up on the screen. We're starting to hit into the horizon too. But that's Jupiter. Very cool. Oh, that looks cool. How you guys doing tonight? What are you guys all doing up? You guys doing okay? Cool. Joopy joop, you know? I love a little bit of Jupiter Jupe. Feeding your newborn twins. Well, congratulations, uh, YSL. Congratulations. Twins! Is it double trouble or double love? <laughs> or both? I can't imagine having to. Was it expected? You can see four of the Jovian moons, the Galilean moons. Can I hang in there? Well, I'm glad you guys are here. It's nice to see you guys. And I am, I'm freezing my tail off. So... It might be shaky here and there because uh, everything is is cold. There we go. What's up, Jupiter? It, it probably won't be the longest live, but I wanted to share it with you guys, and I posted a video on it too. So in case you don't get to see the live, I, you want to know why? I'll tell you why right now clouds they're my nemesis and in january it's like the cloudiest month of the year for me i'm in pennsylvania and we're just been covered but uh, i think a lot of the country is covered in uh clouds this time of year you know hey deanna good to see you all right well, shall we go back to the moon and plays let's go back to the moon and play these so i'm gonna take this multiplier out whoa hey luna how you doing so bright let's dim you down there you are i think that's pretty good I'll dim you down a little more give people a nice screenshot there you go hey luna 
Now we can zoom in a little bit more. Right now I'll give you guys a nice screenshot. Now this is upside down. It's flipped. The reflector telescope will flip the image. And then if this is posted on YouTube, it's sideways. Isn't that cool? But depending on where you are in the world, um, the moon will look different. We can, we can only, oh, wait, first, those just joining, we have uh, Pallades, I think just below, right here, right by the moon. Pallades, Seven Sisters is all right there, right, chilling by the moon. The moon actually uh, had a conjunction with it, but I didn't have clear skies when the conjunction happened. The moon went like right through it. But uh, we can zoom in here, try to get a decent shot for you guys on the moon. Now just don't, don't move anybody. I don't want to shake the telescope. But those giant dark areas are uh, lava beds, ancient lava beds. Oops, sorry. See, I bumped the telescope. See, you guys, I, I can't be trusted next to this thing. Um, and they're, they're darker and everybody sees those all the time. Now that's from asteroids and comets a long time ago, impacting the moon and breaking the crust before it was like completely cooled and hardened, it had like a magma. So like it would break the crust and make a giant sea of lava on the moon. Could you imagine being around for that stuff? Long, long, like billions of years ago, probably. But people have captured like asteroids hitting the moon. Earlier on in the moon's life, it was getting hit by a lot more comets. Even deposited water on the moon. We found water in the form of ice on the polar regions of the moon. Um, still there. And did you know that we found water, well, in the form of ice on Mercury? The closest planet to the sun has ice on it. Yeah. And it's the same kind of deal as the moon in the craters where the sun never touches. Because if it doesn't have an atmosphere, it's like a laser beam. The light there, the heat's there. If there, it's in the shadow, it's freezing cold. Temperature cuts right off. So yeah, Mercury has ice in craters on the polar regions or wherever. Well, on the regions that never see the sun. Hey, thanks for the gifts. Um, and tonight, man, this sky is pretty. And then I'm adding a 2X Barlow onto that for magnification, but also to dim it. So now we're going to see this dim. It's already a little bit dimmer. Now when we use our zoom eyepiece to zoom in, those Galilean winds look awesome. Look, you can immediately start to see the striations of Jupiter. Look at that. How awesome is that, guys? Isn't that cool? Jupiter. So that's, that's a neat little trick if you're uh, just like using your phone through your eyepiece or whatever. And they make little cell phone holders for telescopes. They even make like smart telescopes that have um, um, like apps. They like wirelessly transfer the video to your phone so you can sit there and stargaze with your phones now with a little digital smart telescope and stuff. Pretty cool stuff. But if you're interested in telescopes, I do have like a guide that I made for everyone you can go read it. It's in my profile or at sunshinenate.com. And it's just like to help you decide what kind of telescope you want. But people always ask me what kind of telescope should they get. And to be honest, what I'm on right now is a legendary beginner telescope. It's an 8-inch Dobsonian made by Orion. But they're not in operation anymore. Telescope I have on the way here. You guys are the first to know. There's a new telescope coming. I got a Celestron 8SE. 8-inch schmidt cassegrain tracking telescope. So it's going to give us views it's kind of similar to this, actually, on a tracker. Yeah, it's on its way here. It'll be here in a couple weeks. So we're going to have that. And that's like one of the best-selling telescopes of all time. And then I also have like little 70 millimeter, 72 millimeter telescopes and stuff for astrophotography and that. But you can get started with like binoculars or whatever. But my favorite telescope will always be the one I'm using right now. 
which is a big old eight inch Dobsonian manual. And the movement you see is uh, earth rotating. How cool is that? We just sit here and watch Earth rotate. Now this image, since it's a reflector telescope, is flipped upside down. But that is us spinning Jupiter out of view. Pretty cool, right? All right. So I hope you guys have a wonderful night. Stay warm, stay safe. I will be back soon when I have clear skies with more stargazing. But this is the month of planets. Saturn, Venus, Jupiter, and Mars are putting on a show all month. And the moon is going into full, coming up on Monday, the 13th, full moon, while an occultation, a lunar occultation of Mars. Mars will go behind the moon. I don't know if I'm going to have clear skies for it. I really hope I do. But in case I don't, mark your calendar, because I'm sure there's be some people live with it. The Mars occultation with the moon. It'll be really cool. All right, guys, have a wonderful night. We'll see you soon, okay?